What's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am going to be covering Snakebite in depth. Now I made a video on Snakebite a while ago but it was mostly for converting other people's mods into Snakebite files. This video is going to cover uh, both converting other people's mods into Snakebite files and also creating your own Snakebite files and all of the functionality of Snakebite. So the first thing we're going to want to do is grab a couple files online. I'm going to assume that you already have Snakebite set up. So for creating your own mods, you're going to want a couple things. You're going to want GZ's tool. I will have a link to this in the description. Just grab the latest version from right here. And you're also going to want to grab the QAR dictionary. So you want to click on dictionary.txt on the GitHub page there, then go to view raw, right click here, save as, and instead of dictionary, we're going to call it QAR underscore dictionary. And just save it wherever for now. So now that we've got the files we need, you're going to want to unzip GZ's tool somewhere. I've done so inside my mods folder in my Metal Gear's installation folder. And you're going to want to open it up, take the QAR dictionary that we downloaded, and replace the one that's included with GZ's tool. The one that comes included with GZ's tool is outdated. The version we downloaded is the newest available version, and also the version that's compatible with Snakebite. So now that we have GZ's tool set up, I'm going to cover a little bit of how Snakebite actually works. Inside Metal Gear's master folder contains all of the assets that the game uses. This includes models, textures, and scripts. The zero folder contains the patch.dat files. Normally, there's only a 00.dat and a 01.dat in here. Snakebite creates the original files when it backs up these files. Snakebite works by moving all of 00.dat's files into 01.dat, which only normally contains textures. This allows Snakebite to free up room in 00.dat to install your mod files. Unfortunately, Loose texture files cannot load from 00.dat, so they must be packed into a pftxs file before they can be installed with Snakebite. So now that I've covered some of the boring technical details on Snakebite, let's actually get into making a mod with it. So, you're going to want to unpack these .dat files with GZ's tool. I won't go into too much detail about Metal Gear's file structure for this video, but the player models are contained in chunk 0, so that's what I'm going to unpack. So now that chunk 0 is finished unpacking, let's actually go inside of it and grab some files. So the folder that contains all of the player models is located at Assets, TPP, Pack, Player, Parts. Inside here contains most of the game's outfits for the player. There are some in 00.dat, but we're not going to worry about those. So, how do we take these files and turn them into a snakebite mod? Let's say, for example, I had already modified the battle dress files. Well, it's actually very easy. What you need to do is create a new folder somewhere. I'm going to make mine on my desktop. You can call this folder anything you like. I'm just going to call mine example and inside your folder you have to match the file structure that the game has leading up to your files that you've modified. So in my example it's located at the assets tpp pack player parts folder so I need to create that same file structure inside my example folder assets tpp pack player, and parts. And inside the parts folder, the files that you've modified go. So the FPK, FPKD, and PFTXS. Let's say, for example, I had modified all of those. I would place them all inside the parts folder. 
and creating a folder that's ready to be used by Snakebite is as simple as that. So that's one of the simple aspects of Snakebite, but this is supposed to be Snakebite in depth. Let's look at creating a mod file correctly. Let's say I'm Huey's biggest fan, and I want to create the best Huey model swap ever. Well, the first thing that we can do to achieve this is unpack our FPK and FPKD with GZ's tool. And I already have the models that I want to swap in in my mod files here. But as you can tell, there are a bunch of extra files that if we go inside of the Chara Sne Scenes folder, it doesn't have all these files. But I'm going to copy them in anyway. I've replaced the three files that were there, and I've added a bunch more. Now normally, if you were to repack the FPK, you would have to go into the XML and add entries for all of these files. Well, with Snakebite, you don't have to do that. You can actually just delete the XML and delete the FPK. You can also get rid of any files that you didn't modify. So I didn't touch any files in the item or motion folders, so I can get rid of both of those as well. In the FPKD folder, we can do the same thing. I just want to swap over one of the SIM files. I'm going to swap over the ASR SIM file. And drop that in there. So I didn't touch this, this, or that. Get rid of all of those. Go back in here. I didn't touch any of these folders. I can delete those as well. And I can get rid of the FPKD and XML. Now, doing this only works on FPKs and FPKDs. You can't do this with PFTXS files, SBP files, MTAR files, or any other kind of archive. Only FPKs and FPKDs have this functionality with Snakebite. So now that we've got our folder set up and ready for Snakebite, let's actually create our Snakebite file. So, look for Makebite. When you install Snakebite, you also install Makebite. It comes included. If you have Snakebite, you have Makebite. Select Makebite, and click the ellipses here to choose the folder that contains your mod. So, remember mine was in the example folder on my desktop, so I'm going to go there and click on Example. I will select the folder, and Let's just name this Huey version. Put this whatever the current version of your mod is. Mine's going to be 1.0. Author, put your name here. Website, usually I put my Nexus website page in here, but because this isn't on Nexus, there's nothing to go here. Description, the best Huey model swap of all time. And then we click do it, build archive, choose somewhere to place it. I'm just going to place it on my desktop and you give it a name here. So I'm just going to call it huey.mgsv. Press enter and it's built. And as you can see, I left the folder here open it automatically built the FPK and FPKD files from the folders we left here. That's why you don't actually need the FPK and FPKD files. If you're taking somebody else's mod and it just has the FPK and FPKD files, you can put those in, but you actually only just need the folders with the necessary files. So now that we've built our beautiful Huey model swap file, Let's actually install it with Snakebite and see if it works. And you can see that the title of the mod shows up, the name you entered as the author shows up, and your description shows up. If you 
had a website link, it'll show up just under the name of the mod and the author's name. So now that we've got our model swap installed, let's actually start up Metal Gear and see how it looks in game. Alright, so if we select our character and choose the battle dress as our outfit, we have Huey. Also with perfect first person. Anyway, that's been Snakebite in depth. I hope you now have an understanding of how to generate your own mod files using Snakebite. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you wish to discuss modding Metal Gear with myself and a few other modders, then I will leave a link to our Discord in the description.